All right, let's see who joins us in here. I'm sure we'll get some people. Let's see. Kirk says uh, he wanted to watch it, and he started watching it on himself already. Oh, what a setup. Right, I almost sold out myself tonight. For real? Yeah, but I'm feeling better. <laughs> Damn, man, I'm glad. I mean, you sound you sound pretty bad, I'm not going to lie. All right, let me put it on Discord. I already put it on Twitter that we were live. But... Oh, I drank a lot of Prime drinks today, too. Oh, yeah, that's good. And, and um... That's good because uh, it hydrates you. Yeah. What up, Terrence? That's a lot what of water. Face? Yes, water, too. We're just going to wait here, like, I don't know, guys, a couple minutes, give everyone a chance to join us. I don't know if I should change the title of the stream. Let me know when to start it. Yeah, I got to set it up myself. I have it here ready on my, like, I have it pulled up, but I haven't pressed play on it. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to press play here shortly. I just want to give everyone some time to join. Happy birthday, Danny Vera. Twelve. Wait, twenty. What? Is it your birthday, Daniel? Oh, Alex, I was watching a little UFC earlier. Oh, I wanted to and see it. It was Thug Rose. One of the fights ended in the disqualification. Oh. He pulled Mike Tyson and bit the guy. Are you serious? Yeah. You can see the teeth marks right in the guy's arm. Wow. They're really deep. Why would he and, do it? Well, you see already fired the guy. Hmm. So let's see how many people turn out. I know that yesterday Simplicity said he wanted to join in. I know Markle said he was going to join in, but these guys are all cappers. I just tweeted out now that we'll start the movie around 11.15. Got rid of the ads real quick. Oh, damn. Yeah, I might have to press play and pause it then after. You know that? Yeah, I saw that they added ads now to Amazon Prime. Oh, no, but maybe for a movie, the ad could be one ad. I hope so. If it's just one ad in the beginning, I don't care. Let's say if it's a five-minute ad, just to get all the ads out of the way, then watch the movie. I'm okay with that. Wait, I didn't mean to press this. What the hell is this? I don't mean to share video. Yo, you hear me? All right, there. All right, cool. It says you're muted. It did. I, I'm pretty sure it did it by itself, but that was because I pressed the wrong button and put. What up, Ronald? I'm just waiting. I just put on Discord. I tagged Simplicity and all of them. See, see if they're coming.
I don't know what happened to Super Saiyan. Super Saiyan is probably at the gym again. <laughs> probably, yeah. He's always at the gym. I was going to do a bike class at, by, at the gym, but I cancel that. I'm drinking what is it, the lemon lime prime drink. Oh. It's not bad. No, that one is good. I like that one. I think I'm the only one in my family that likes the uh, the prime drinks. It's for too you? sweet for their taste. No, yeah, it is. It is really sweet, but I like it. Yeah, me too. Hold on, what was the, when we watch Ready to Rumble, I'm trying to see what I put the name of the stream. I think I put like Wrestling Movie Night? Yeah, I did. I'm in a hotel, yeah. What up, what up, Bishop? Uh, this is called Roadhouse. If you look at Conor McGregor yeah. and like the cast and crew. He looks like freaking Nick Aldis in that picture. Yeah, he does. Oh, the cast and crew? Hold on, let me see. Oh, yeah, he does. Oh, I forget. Do you ever see? I forget the name of the movie. It was another UFC movie. I forget the name of it. This guy was trying to get to the Warrior? UFC. Is it Warrior with the teacher that's trying to get money for the school? No. Uh, Kevin James? It was Bring, Bring the Boom, I think it was called. Or yeah, something. With, with Kevin James. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. With Kev yeah. yeah, yeah, I seen that one. It's pretty all right. No, we haven't started yet, bro. Nice gold, Ramonito. What the hell? What's wrong with you, Ronald? Wake up, man. Yo, for everyone that yet last night said, oh, yeah, I'm going to tune in. I'm going to tune in. Ain't nobody tuned into the watch party. Where's everybody at? Marco, you're not even watching him, Marco. All right, who's who in the chat is watching the movie with us, though, for real? It's okay. I know not that many people were going to tune in, but. All right, we're going to start it at 11.15, okay? So we're about to start it now. Let me see if. Harder even on. Look at MGM, MGM Bishop. Yo, Bishop, tell MGM and then that we're going to watch the movie.
They're playing with uh, Wesley. Yo, Lex, why you look different? You using the raw skincare? No, man, I'm waiting for the. You said you were gonna send it. You sold out. Oh my God, that's amazing. But when they scan it in the thing, it'll show. You're telling people on Discord? I tried telling them too, but Ronald says, hey. Nah, Simplicity, we're waiting for you. I'm waiting. I'm trying to wait. The Cash App, what is your profile pic? You're not the only one? Yeah, I do. My pro profile pic is me wearing a hat. They sleep. Well, I told them, bro, when we do movie nights on Saturdays, I have to do it at night because ain't nobody going to watch it at night. You know what I mean? I mean, uh, during the day. We're going to start it at 11.15, Simplicity. So I know Marco, Marco's not here. Marco smells and Ghostface is going to watch it. I know Ronald said he wants to watch it. Well, yeah, like in four minutes, we're going to start it. So I was just trying to make sure everybody had a chance. Let me uh, press play for the ads. And let me change my lighting in here. This program is brought to you ad free after the following message. Oh, so Lex, it's ad free after the following messages. That's awesome. Yeah, so we only get the ads in the beginning. And there's two of them only. All right, I, I'm leaving the light on so y'all can see me. I'm getting the ads out of the way myself. Exactly. All right, turned on subtitles. I mean, English. Oh, there's only one ad. Even better. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, I just paused it. Yeah, it's not worth paying an extra two or three dollars or no ads before it'll only be like 25 seconds. Stop it at zero, zero, 003. Nah, go back. Rewind it at zero, zero, 0000, bro. That's where I put it. Zero, zero, 0000. Come on now. Everybody is, is easier for everybody to rewind it and put it at zero, zero. I did my best. That's yeah, what me I did. Too. Yeah, that's what I did too. So anybody got any snacks? Anybody got any snacks? What snacks are you guys uh, munching on tonight? What you got? What you got, Ghostface? I got some banana chips, some Pringles, some little chocolate bites. You got nachos and cheese? Ooh, Erica likes that. You got pan? Just bread, that's it? Put some butter on it. Toast it, bro. Hurry up. So, yeah, guys, we're going to start it in about two minutes. I just wanted to give everyone a chance. Let me put it on Discord. Simplicity, are you here? Let me tag everyone. Look at Jake. He said tuning in, and he ain't even joining for real. We are starting... The movie soon. If y'all want to join the party, it'll begin at beginning. I'm gonna put in two minutes just so they could see it. There we go. Sugar bread, that's good. You're here.
Why the tissue, bro? Simplicity. You got the ads out the way or what? Just trying to give everyone a chance to join in and reply and all that stuff. You're going to watch as well. All right. We got it at zero, zero, zero. We're about to start it in the next minute or so. I'm just trying to give everyone a chance. So whoever's watching and make sure that if you have ads, watch your ads and pause it at zero, 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 please. And watch it as well. All right. Yeah, it's on Prime. It's on Prime. I told you it was on Prime yesterday, fool. Whoever has Amazon Prime, check it out. No, I know. I know we're a minute late. I'm giving everyone a chance to load it up. Prime video. All right, y'all, so we're back and ready. As you see there on the screen, we got Conor McGregor facing off Jake Gyllenhaal. That's just a little a little screenshot from the movie. We're going to be watching the 2024 version of Roadhouse. If you guys are not aware, this movie is actually a remake, and it's loosely based on the original from what I've heard. The original starred Patrick Swayze. It's considered a cult classic. This one is more modernized. Um, one thing I could tell you about it is that Conor McGregor is featured in it. The UFC is heavily featured in it. And Jake Gyllenhaal plays the role of a fighter or former fighter of sorts. I'm not too familiar with the plot. I don't know what's going to happen in the movie. Um, I'm not into reading spoilers or any of that cheesy stuff so uh the reactions that you guys see here will be uh pretty much fresh and natural another thing too um for future watch parties when we do it on the weekend i'm always going to try to do it a little later in the day that way people have a chance to do what they got to do and then you know get home kind of wind down cool off and watch the movie together uh, Yesterday, I didn't put a start time. I know that I, I did say it would be at night. I put it in Discord in the afternoon. Um, but yeah, I feel like I gave everyone a chance. I'm just kind of here stalling and waiting in case anyone else tunes in um, and wants to join us. But we're going to officially start the movie here in just about a minute. So get your snacks ready. Here's the last chance. I already watched the ad, so I have it paused at zero, zero, zero. And for any future movie nights like tonight, we're going to try to stay based on the wrestling fighting subject. So we'll watch movies like Roadhouse. We'll watch The Iron Claw, which I know that Super Saiyan really wants us to watch it. So that's going to be our our next watch party for the movies. Um, and look. I enjoyed I enjoy that movie. Iron Claw? Iron Claw. 
Yeah, I haven't seen it. Uh, so we'll watch movies that I haven't seen. We'll watch movies that I have seen. It doesn't matter. But we're just going to do this, these little movie night hangouts for us to experience these movies together, talk a little bit. Um, obviously, it's not going to be one of those very talkative streams because we're going to be watching the movie and focusing on the movie mostly. But I am going to be commentating every so often and, you know, reacting, obviously. And we'll do like a little, a little, you know, post movie hangout where we discuss what we watched. But every movie that we watch on this channel or documentary that we watch on this channel, we'll be watching it um, uh, with the common theme of pro wrestling or just wrestling and fighting in general. So if it's not pro wrestling. Will like Mortal Kombat. I'll probably watch Mortal Kombat on here because it's a fighting movie. It has to do with martial arts. Um, I'll probably watch like Bloodsport with Jean Claude Van Damme in the future. I'll watch the Wrestler movie with Mickey Rourke. We could watch Fighting with Family. Uh, no problem, Simplicity. Thank you for tuning in as well as everyone else. Um, here, just in case you want that one. Let me just pull over, put, put the snacks over here a little bit. Yeah, if I could have the drink, that'll be great. So, is everyone ready in the chat? Is everyone ready? I want to make sure everyone has it lined up. Zero, zero, zero. Ah. Uh. Is, it, is there a napkin? All right, you guys are ready? I have a uh, hiccups. All right, so, oh shit, hold on. Let me get the hiccup, the hiccups out the way, hold on. All right, um, <clears throat> damn, hold on. Uh, so I'm going to do a countdown when the hiccups are gone. Just one second. My good, my goodness. All right, I think we're good. So on go, I'm going to do three, two, one, go. When I say go, that's when you hit play on your remote. You guys said you're ready, so I take your word for it. Three. All right, VJ, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, and everyone else said they're ready. So on go, three, two, one, go. And if I'm ahead of you guys, pause the stream and kind of let it go or, or whatever. So I see the MGM logo. Let me see how loud I can put it without ruining the stream. Hopefully. I... I think we're good. All right, I got to lower it a little bit. I think we're good there. You can hear me good, VJ? Yeah. Do you hear my TV? Not really. All right, cool. Yeah, guys, make sure you like it up. Is that Post Malone? Oh, that's his music. Yeah, guy, I think Post Malone is in it. Yeah, Ghostface said it's Post Malone. Yeah. 
Let me see if I can turn off the lights. Oh no. Sorry, baby. No wonder Post Malone is the DLC for WWE 2K24. <laughs> right? I know, right? What a Timothy. Jake Gyllenhaal look, looking fierce, huh? Looking like emo with a little hoodie. Punches and kicks look CGI. Well, they look, they definitely look very, uh, like CGI and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Like, uh, like I want to say just CGI, but damn, Jake Gyllenhaal is super ripped. They look very artsy. You guys, uh, maybe did you see if the stream picks it up? No? All right. He doesn't want to fight his ass. The hell no. Yeah, so he just showed up and took the money. Maybe you better ask him. You gonna fall asleep? Is it a superhuman or what? Roadhouse.
Patrick Swayze was a bouncer. We sing together. So he's a prideful, washed up fighter. You hear it on mine? Well, I ain't trying to get copyrighted. <laughs> yeah, I do hear it on your on your deal, but Yeah. No. No, no, not at all. Jesus. Yo, that's crazy. He got, huh? Uh, he got ran by the damn train. What the hell? Jesus. So random. It's just the roadhouse. Hey, we've been to the Keys and they never told us that.
I can tell you guys, there's no place called the Roadhouse of the Keys. We've been there. What do you mean, why he walking? He has no car, fool. Remember, his car got destroyed. You At least the weather is got... nice. <laughs> the weather is nice. He forgot about the damn uh, car getting ran over by the drain. So Erica just looked up some stats, guys. Most of the movie was filmed in Dominican Republic, and I'm pretty sure it was to save money. But they made it seem like those are Florida Keys. Glass Key doesn't exist. Yeah, it was probably to save money, I'm sure, to save the, as much money as they could. But, like, that bar they're at, there's bars like that all over the Keys. We've been to a few of them. Holy, what the hell is this? Everybody rowdy as hell there all of a sudden or what? Yeah, right? And he's like, F this, I'm going to enjoy my drink. What about these gangsters? What up, Omar? What up, David? What's going on? He reminds me of uh, Tobey Maguire so much, like his demeanor and like his voice. Yeah.
<laughs> we'll leave after I kill you. Holy shit, he's whooping their ass. Mm -hmm. He's bitch slapping them. <laughs> oh, wow, that's awesome to hear, David. Congratulations, man, on your family. <laughs> A beach voice. Uh, that's tough. Wow, is that going to be a love interest or what? Damn. What up, Brian? Wake up, bro. Why doesn't he tell her that he's a bouncer? He should tell her that he's a bouncer. He said, fine, you going to leave that bleeding? What up, Brian? What are you doing? Raging on 2K24, bro? You going to watch Roadhouse? Oh, I got the Finn Balor uh, Ruby card today. How did you get it? It's in live events.
Wait, so now they want to like, jump his ass? Can't believe her. She said, you bet your ass is beautiful. I didn't I didn't know Roadhouse was one word. I didn't know that either. What up, Jake? Crocodiles on uh, salt water, nigga? By the beach? Oh, huh, this is definitely a flashback. That little flashback was dope. I like the animation. Yeah, right? Who the, who the hell walks in on somebody they don't know like that?
Damn, they're hyping it up like this is supposed to be the ultimate hellhole. <laughs> All right. He's going to be the hometown hero. What is this, bro? Oh, infestation. Is it? What are these? What's up with these dudes, man? The same dudes. And that girl, she looks really young. Like, really, really young. I know, right? To be talking like that? You wish he had a, a beard? Why? Because he, he would look more grizzled? Everyone knows who this guy is. They're going to go see Conor McGregor or what? Oh, it is Conor McGregor? No, nah, it's not McGregor. That's some other bozo. Wonder McGregor re drinking his whiskey.
I think he's trying to probably buy them out and get them out. We know all those guys. I've seen him in other movies. He's always playing this kind of role, I feel. Oh, jeez. Told you. Trying to get them out. Yeah, I think his dad is probably going to be Conor McGregor, right? <laughs> he punched the hell out of the captain. He looks like he don't know about. I think the movie's pretty good so far. Sorry. I, I think it is too. Yeah, I agree with Erica though. She says she wants to see the original now. It makes me want to watch the original for sure. I think that guy is whole is from the movie Hole from Disney Channel. It kind of looks he is. It is him. It looks just like like Zero Erica says.
It's not zero. It's not the same actor. It's not the same actor. Erica just looks at it. Yo, this shit is terrible. I wonder if there's actually bars like this in the United States. There has to be, right? I would think so. Oh, who's here? The people from the other, oh, the biker gang. Wow. Ooh, I didn't know that was the same. What I missed, Carter, we got the invite. We sent you the invite, man. You missed a lot. We're 41 minutes into the movie already. You was knocked out. You could join us still. All right, guys, er Erica uh, wants me to pause it for a second. When I say three, two, one, go. Get ready to pause it, uh, guys. I'm sorry. Three. Two, one, pause. 4140 is where I'm at. Carter, you could join us if you want, man. 4140 is where we're at. We still got an hour 20 to go. I'll take one. But can you prepare? Yeah, I'd rather get a breadstick now and I'll have the pizza. Two breadsticks. You got to get his workout regimen. Man, this dude is uh, he's a killer. What up, Carter? Yo. If you don't mind missing the first 40 minutes, I mean, I, I can tell you what has happened. Nothing really. He just, he, all you know about him is that he's a former fighter, and he's basically at a dive bar working as a bouncer. The first night on the job, he whooped on some biker gang, and the biker gang is trying to get uh, revenge on him now. That's it. I mean, it's pretty good though. So, you you could go back and watch it for sure. I better set it up on my laptop. You sound tired as hell, dog. Hey, I ain't gonna set my alarm for 10. What? I ain't gonna set my alarm for 10 o'clock. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah I, tried, um, I tried postponing it because I saw you weren't replying. I saw Omar. Omar ended up coming through, but so many people didn't. Um... Oh, shit. Damn, the co-main event for tonight's UFC event is going on right now. They're taking forever. Uh, but yeah, I saw you didn't join. I saw Keon wasn't joining MGM. I saw nobody was replying, so I wanted to get. Yeah, it everybody probably was asleep. No, they're actually playing together. They're all in a party. Bishop, Legend. I saw all of them are in a party together. Damn. I tried. Uh, Marco said he was gonna watch it with us, and he didn't watch shit. 
Yeah, I thought everybody was gonna watch it. I thought, yeah, last night, remember everybody was like, yeah, let's watch it, let's watch it. But, I mean, we got Ghostface up in here. We got uh, Simplicity. VJ's watching it. You didn't even wipe the thing or did you? Buzz on. Buzz. Yeah, Marco says I'm at the beginning. Marco at said he at the beginning. Oh, my. <laughs> Yeah, Carter Joe. Marco says he's at the beginning. Marco, man, you're something else. Did you get the butter? Oh, nice. Marco, I watched the last one. Oh, uh, Shane. Marco's a piece of work, man. I swear. I watched the trailer yesterday, too. I was excited for it. It's good. Are you going to watch it from the beginning or are you going to watch it with us? I'm going to watch it with y'all, and then I'm going to watch the rest of it. Uh, sounds good. It's a good. It's a good movie. It's pretty good. This dude Marco really said he's watching it at the beginning. I mean, you gotta be kidding me, right? Now. All right, yeah. Red tie. Had to grab my other charge. The red tie charge and broke. Oh, you want to dip it? Sorry. Mm-hmm. Forty-one forty out of two hundred three twenty-four. And this on Prime Video. Yeah, Prime Video. This movie just came out. Um, I think Thursday. Yeah, it looked good. I they're, missed basically, out on the, um, they're basically laying out the foundation for the storyline. Yeah, I missed out on the Rumble one. So I didn't want to miss out on this one. Which one did you miss out on? The Rumble. Oh, Ready to Rumble. Ready to Rumble. And next week we're going to do yeah. Iron Claw. Yeah, I'm trying to keep up with it. Yeah. We're going to do that one on Saturday. And then um, next week, we also got, not next week, after next week, we got the Bray Wyatt documentary, April 1st. But I don't know if we're going to watch that one April 1st. I might put that one for Thursday instead. Oh, yeah. Also, depending what time that comes out during the day. Yeah, because, I mean, we could do it before Raw. Like on Monday, we could probably do it on before Raw, like a like a six o'clock or something. But it depends how long it is, because if it's like three hours long or two hours long, I guarantee it'll be like maybe between an hour and two. Two hours at the most, I think. Yeah, I think two. Hours. Cody Rhodes, Cody Rhodes was two hours. Yeah, it was. Thank you. Um, Carter, you ready? Yeah, I'm putting it up now. Uh, I was thinking tomorrow, combined with the 2K24 stream, because today I, today I was hanging out with Eric all day, but tomorrow, tomorrow I'll probably do some universe mode on 2K24, and then maybe do uh, like a WWE Peacock, um, Maybe like a doc, like WrestleMania or something like that. Like not not a full WrestleMania because you know that shit. Them shits are like six hours and five hours. Oh yeah, it is. Well, long as up. But we could pick. Hey, like, you do one the sh- one of the shorter ones. We could do one of the shorter ones, or I was thinking more like we do like one WrestleMania and watch like two three matches from one, and then maybe like jump to another or something like that. Hey, one match we should watch. I think TLC. Oh, I would love to watch that one. I haven't seen that since I was a kid. The one with Agent Chris? Yeah. Yep. And the main event of that, too. I don't even Stone Cold and The Rock. What WrestleMania is that one? 17. Hey, why are you so complicated? Should have put it right there. All right, we'll do that one. We'll do WrestleMania 17 tomorrow. 
We'll pick like three matches. That on password. Our We're just waiting for Carter now, guys. Once Carter has it ready, we'll we'll resume. Ooh, you know what match we should watch? As well, Stone Cold versus Bret Hart from WrestleMania uh, 13. Man, that match in the showcase got me sick already. But no, you're right. That's a good match. Actually, you know what you should do? When we watch those showcase matches, go on the network and find the matches. Damn, VJ, that's a great idea. I would love to watch a few of them. Where are you in the movie right now? 4140. 4140? Yeah. All right. 4140. You okay? Why? You play spicy? I ended up having two breadsticks now. I don't like eating a lot while I'm watching the movie, so I got two little pieces of breadsticks. Oh, yeah, I'm right here. And I already had a few chips, so. But we'll do that tomorrow, guys. We'll do that, um, not as late as now. But I'll see, depending on what Erica and I do tomorrow, because we might watch the Taylor Swift concert tomorrow. So I'll probably, um, probably do the WrestleMania matches at night. And I'll do some WWE 2K24. Well, because I wanted to do the LWF pay-per-view tomorrow, but I think we'll just do that next week better. Just let me know when you're ready, Carter. Yeah, I'm ready. All right. Is everybody ready? Everybody in the chat that's watching it with, with us. We're at 4140. Let me put it. 4140. Out of two zero three twenty four. Wait, all right. Don't do it. Fine, do it. Go. On. I you say, Wayne, you're not there. He's not even watching it with us. He said he was watching it from the beginning. Marco, we ain't gonna wait forty minutes for you, bud. We just took a break now because Erica wanted to go to the kitchen get some stuff. How, how about the beetling? Oh, that's not bad for what it is. Did you do the Pringles? What is it? Oh, that's not too bad. Oh, wow. That's actually good. You ready? All right. Everyone is ready. We're going to resume Roadhouse. So for those of you that just tuned in, if you want to watch it with us, you can. 4140, we're going to pick up Jake Gyllenhaal is holding on to some sort of utensils, fork, spoon. He's eating. Um, up until this point in the movie, we haven't really seen a whole lot. But since we took a pause, and, you know, we were talking stuff now anyways, but let me ask you, uh, Vijay, how do you feel about the movie so far? I'm enjoying it. What about uh, you, Ghostface? Both of you, Ghostfaces, and Simplicity, I know you guys are watching it with us. How are you guys enjoying the movie so far? I think the movie so far is like, it's an easy watch is the best way I could put it. It's an easy watch. Um... The writing is a little bad. I don't like the dialogue too, too much. I feel like it's kind of kind of iffy at times. The dialogue is a little like like the villains, like the, the biker gang, they look like Disney Channel bullies. I will say this. One thing that sticks out to me, at least, about this movie 
is the I'm I'm fascinated by the camera angles, like the the shots, like the way the camera goes behind the body of the the fighters and the action and like like those sequences, man. They did a really good job with the choreography. So I I'm enjoying that element of the movie a lot. Oh, Marco! Marco just sent me a picture. He has a pause. All right, we're about to hit play, guys. So yeah, I like the camera angles. I like Jake Gyllenhaal. I like how he's pretty relaxed and swagged out. Um, but yeah, I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. So here we go. On go. I'm gonna say three, two, one, go. All right. Three, two, one, go. Have I been playing 2K24? Come on, Jason. You've seen me play 2K24. Yeah, that's the doctor. Was she in the movie with uh, Morbius? How is that not romantic? That's funny that they did a love entrance that works at the hospital. It has nothing to do with the bar. Yeah, I get, I get it. You're, you're saying she's cute, but she could have just been the manager of the bar. Why have the manager of the bar plus someone that works at? You know what I'm saying? Because she's the one that's gonna take care of him. Uh oh, predictable moment here. Yeah, get rocked. Is he gonna have two love interests? No, definitely not. Oh, Jesus! What the hell? So this is based off a true story? Nah, 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 nah. No. Nah. Uh. 
Wow, that recording there was a little... Oh man, if that would have hit him, that was horrible. Super CGI. Yeah, guys. right. I feel like they put the the animation didn't look horrible. It was just really fast. You get me? Like it was just too fast. That's the problem. Yeah. Cause you know it's dark. They could get away with it. Two people coming after him tonight. No. <laughs> God damn. Dang. That's by elegant. Damn. He got what fucked up. <laughs> Hell yeah. I'm not sure how you unlock all the cards. You gotta grind a lot. What up, Sins? Nah, this is the one with Jake Gyllenhaal. <laughs> oh, <laughs> freaking Disney Channel bad guys, bro! I'm telling you, it's like a comedy. Yeah, yeah, it's terrible writing, bro. I'm telling you. Marco said this movie's been good so far. Marco, you haven't even been watching it. What up, John?
So what are you supposed to be like a UFC fighter that's going against the drug organization or something? Former, former UFC fighter that is working as a bouncer for a, a bar. That's it. Oh yeah. So you like John Wick at a bar. Is the movie any good? The trailer looked bad. I mean, it's just a simple movie, man. There's nothing to it. The movie is exactly what you see in the trailer. <laughs> I did lose a little sleep. Is that a real tattoo on his forearm? <clears throat> I don't think so. I think that uh, that's him um, just for the movie. Oh, it was a crowd down that alley. Although my phone was ringing for a second. Like this one. Say yes, shit, <laughs> That's McGregor for sure. <laughs> Say yes, shit. <laughs> All right, I like that. I like that McGregor is playing a character versus playing himself. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Is this supposed to be like Terminator or what? <laughs> I know, right? Supposed to be the lunatic fringe. Oh, so he's playing something else. It's he's not the dad. The dad is in prison and McGregor's supposed to be just a hitman or something, I guess. What the fuck? Yeah, that's exactly what he is. I'm gonna take friends at a movie. The wild card. Yo, he's playing himself, but like an exaggerated version. Oh yeah. I wonder where this take place at. 
It's supposed to be the Florida Keys, but Erica looked it up. They filmed it in Dominican Republic. Oh, yeah. The water looks beautiful, though. Yeah, it did. Yeah, it looks nice. I mean, so far, everything they've shown looks exactly like the Keys. We could confirm because Erica and I have gone to the Keys a couple times. The ocean looks like that. Uh, there's bars exactly like the one he's working at. Hospital, I don't know. We haven't really seen any of them. You didn't put the anchor on the boat. That's baloney. <laughs> you definitely got to put the anchor. Are you on the island somewhere? How did they get chairs right there? She brought it. She brought it like in the like the cooler and the, the or your. I guess you would assume it. It was just random places you could bring chairs and just chill. Yeah, out. yeah. So by the Florida Keys, there's a lot of sandbanks, and you could park yeah. your boat just like they did, and then you could just chill in the in the little sand and water. Yeah, that's dope. I didn't know, know that was a thing. Are you saying that's real? Yeah, it is. Okay, little assertive girl. And you know, this is a date. This is a date. I think it's hilarious that they picked a UFC fighter, Conor McGregor, to do this hitman role. <laughs> Crash into all the bikes. I knew you didn't have to be enough for a black soul. Yo, the writing is awful on this movie, I'll say that, for the, for the bad guy. Is he hammering a tree? What is he? <laughs> I think they borrowed the same boat. They got punched in the head. Like I'm a girl, man. This guy is...
<laughs> he said, God, no problem. Oh, freaking McGregor. I didn't even know he had that tattoo in the back of his, uh, in the back there. It, it oh. might be just for the movie. Oh, shit. Now he's in trouble with the cops. They were just waiting for him. <laughs> That's a sweet sour moment right there. Why does he have to freaking walk around naked everywhere? <laughs> Now they're going to show that all the cops are paid off. They're going to show that this is a small oh, yeah. town. I mean, this shit is as predictable as it gets, huh? She set him up. That's what Erica said, too. Yeah, McGregor looks big time. Yeah, he already feel like this is set up. Most people call me Big Dick. Yeah, you know it's a setup. I've seen this guy before. I know who it is. They always pick him as like a. No, he's like a cheap role player in every movie he's in. I knew it was this guy. Uh. Uh, yeah. Hit him with the Kaduki. What the hell is this? Yo, just joined up. Oh, Tro joined and left. Talk about a swerve, man. Yeah, it was a good swerve.
Bro, I swear to God, these bad guys are worse than the Disney Channel freaking villains and like. That dramatic music playing in a bit. Yeah, no, nah, they uh, definitely. Don't you mean movies? No, Disney Channel villains are even worse than the Disney Channel mo movies. <laughs> I feel like they worse than Disney Channel villain, to be honest. Yeah, I agree. At least they'll take your lunch money and all that. Jack you up. Sounds like a school bully. Yeah. <laughs> Them school bullies be more violent than these people in the movies. Make mean, you feel bad for the character like that. You just jack them up. You got Pringles, Marco? I got banana chips. I had Pringles earlier. I had these. Who's that smirk? Definitely lost a smile. You got sour cream? Damn. Oh, I got sour cream too. I'm gonna stop eating this so I can have some in a little bit. I'm gonna have sour cream afterwards.
What are you doing at my place? Oh shit. Music just amped up. Know what that meant. You got tomahawk steak. We got a uh, pizza today, but I haven't eaten yet. And so this Good, bro. That's my girl, bro. He said, here's Johnny. Dang. <laughs> what was that? Jeez. <laughs> It make Conor McGregor looking like the Hulk. Uh, these weak I know, punches. Right? Weak. They made Conor McGregor. Remember, like, in the Royal Rumbles, and we're gang up on Big Show, and he just power right out? Yeah, yeah exactly. That's what... Right? I want to do this happen in real life, like in bars, like do actual bar fights. Sounds like some good stuff, like John. I don't think this happens like this. I don't know. I don't think so. Oh, this is just like a movie thing, like a bar fight, and then I like it. Well, I think bar fights have had to have happened, right, for it to be a thing in movies, but this right here looks very staged. Yeah. yeah. Man, I just walk out the bar at that point. I ain't gonna fight nobody. But yeah, this is my time to go. I'm out of here. <laughs> That's actually Conor McGregor's name. The notorious Conor McGregor. Yeah. You see what I'm saying about the film style, like the choreography for the yeah. fight and the cinema? 
like it's the cinematography. They did a really good job with it. Oh, got a border combat stage twelve and part in the back. Yep, that's definitely staged. Yeah. No way that would happen in real life like that. Actually, <laughs> yelling at each other. What up, Lawrence? Peace out, Ronald. That boat fell on him. Uh, it's very probably boat. <laughs> what? They still there? <laughs> they said the show must go on. Yep. <laughs> yeah, no, the band is still playing music. Come on, man. What is this? <laughs> what is this, bro? I'll, I'll save it for my review, but I'll, I'll say this. The movie did not need to be two hours long for the story that they're doing. Yeah, I get it. He would have locked him up, and he would have had to figure out a way to get out of jail. And all that. Maybe 90 minutes. I feel like if he would have went to jail, that would have... Switched up the scenery a little bit. Went to jail, they tried to put a hit on him and all that, get him killed in the jail. You know what's going to trigger him? The bookstore. Having been yeah.
You got into a bar fight with a bouncer. He picked you up. Took another shot. You crazy, John. What's the point of that? You know what's crazy about this, bro? And I'll, again, I'll elaborate more at the end. But Jake Gyllenhaal is an Oscar award-winning type actor. And he's done good, but they've held him back for sure. I seem like he's more nonchalant in this movie. <laughs> this guy is fucking hilarious. This guy's been great. What up, Juan? Damn, it was the rest. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm surprised that UFC allowed them to do that and like show that in the movie. He you offer the right money. <laughs> The Blu-ray of the new Roadhouse cost fifteen ninety nine. That has to be a fake Blu-ray because the movie just came out on Amazon and they haven't sold the movie yet physically.
They sent that money away on a boat. Come on, man. You gotta be. This dude literally walked up on a sheriff like that. And... What the hell? Uh, Disney Channel bad guys. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I've seen South Paul. South Paul's great. I forgot about that movie. Yo, this guy turned into MacGyver. I know, right? <laughs> Bro. Oh man. He's writing. <laughs> Guys are terrible actors. Oh man, I wanted to love this movie so bad. My goodness. How did he get to the boat right at the same time as he was stealing? Huh? <laughs> it's a coincidence, man. And then they said, okay, you got two hours. <laughs> <laughs> like, it, like that matter. Like, yeah. If anything, I feel like he's going to destroy the book. And McGregor looks too happy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, McGregor's definitely been one of the positive parts of this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking McGregor, bro. That what? Looks amazing in 4K. Yeah, it does look good. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Damn, he just rammed it into that shit. Oh my god. Disney Channel bad guys. They worse than Disney Channel. Yeah, they are. At least Disney Channel, they do something. More like PBS bad guy. Yeah. Oh, look who's there. They got my daughter. I need the money now. Yeah, PBS kids. This that's what we looking at. Hell yeah. You can get a free trial said. of Prime, Jason, for free. What'd you say, uh, Carter? Say, say I'm not going to do nothing, man. Yeah, they're not kidnapping, <laughs> dumbass. <laughs> Ooh, Dove Sam got that what thing on <laughs> What up, Omar the sellout? Uh uh. The <laughs> lunatic friends. Yep. The lunatic friends, Dane Ambrose. Who's taking our raft? I bet he's gonna run right into it. Trying to make Gregor Price still smiling while looking at that. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, Sam. <laughs> Bro, the bad guy just stared at him. <laughs> you can just use uh, another <laughs> email, Jason. Any email, will... just make another email. Damn, that look like Sam Brevy just hit. Oh, she on a boat. You mean to tell me that she could have just opened the door? And she was trying to break <laughs> open the window? Oh. Who tries to crack open the window when the door was easily right then and there? I wasn't strong enough to break it. She could have used that 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 fire extinguisher to break it. Matter of fact, right? yeah, yeah, she she definitely could have used the fire extinguisher to break the door. Now the ship about to sting and all that. You're gonna die. And here's the psychopath. <laughs> Is he, is he smiling? Nope. He looked pissed off, though. Oh, 
Dang. Go to the back of the noggin. I know it costs money to have Prime. Well, no, but you can get a free trial for like 30 months. I mean, 30 days. Yeah. Damn. Got something mo. Let's you know pick why a you turn a boat like that fast. What is this? <laughs> turn it with a swiftness. As a and a oh 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 he's not smiling after that. Damn. That shit they actually <laughs> coordinated that pretty well. He said, ah. <laughs> but it's like doing donuts in a boot. I'm on it. Oh, Kaduki. Kaduki. My Gregor's the gift that keeps on giving here. <laughs> What is the cop coming after him for? Gotta figure out where he at. He's a dirty cop, though. He's probably looking for his daughter, to be honest. Oh, they added tattoos on his chest that say Knox, Knox, Knox instead of McGregor. Mm -hmm. Yo, they gave him a role like if he's Terminator, bro. How did he survive that shit? <laughs> it flew hella high in the air. He was like 20 feet in the air. He should have gotten like killed through a branch. Yeah. I don't know. Type yeah. of a. We're going to have a good time with this review. I'll tell you that much. He got a lot. He landed on the roof. Watch him jump down now and try to kill him. Then <laughs> you want to jump on his back like a monkey. Oh. <laughs> Dang. Oh, he broke his back. Fuck out, he got to be broken in half. Yeah, he broke. <laughs> oh. What, his back is not broken up there? It looked like it broke. Oh. Holy, bro, they made Conor <laughs> McGregor 
The Terminator, bro. I swear. If y'all never seen Terminator, this is exactly how Terminator acts. Yeah. Especially when you first show up in the movie. He's still smiling. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong side of the road. Round two, we'll fight. Oh, yeah, this has got a better story than Mortal Kombat. <laughs> right? Oh. Oh. Hey. Yeah, they got really good choreography. He said, "Be nice." <laughs> Hit him with a Johnny Cage kick. Batista Bond. <laughs> oh, attitude adjustment. Carnegie. <laughs> Kaduki out the steps. But a luck, luck in the Kamagoya, he think he hooked. The red run. Oh, the Kakito clutch locked in deep. Got to wrap the legs around. Uh oh, uh oh, he got it locked in. Where's the ref? He got to wrap the legs around. Uh, he didn't wrap the legs around. Oh shit! Oh shit! And the girl gonna save him. Ooh. The same spot. Everybody loves going after that spot. He done. Are you serious? This dude is still here? <laughs> How is he still walking? His back is broken. Oh. <laughs> Got the plot on. Damn, Holy that broke. He done. Holy shit. Hit him with the fatality, man. He did. Look at the song playing. <laughs> he just, he oh. just snapped his <laughs> neck. I love that song they're playing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, man, he got the adrenaline rush. You got a last win. Oh, ain't no way John is asking me what am I watching when it says it on the title of the stream. It says it on the on the screen. Oh, oh, oh. Back from the day, like more rain. 
That was intense. That was crazy. Get that adrenaline rush. Her Erica said, the question is now, does she kiss him? And the way I fell on it. I did all of this for you in the bookstore. Uh, there you go. Oh, the dad. He came up out the cut. <laughs> Bro, this dude is a moron. <laughs> it's time for you to go, Dalton. I'm from the Disney Channel. <laughs> Mickey Mouse called me. And his eye went from completely shut to kind of shut to almost open. I got you covered, Dalton. <laughs> you going Disney back to the Channel Disney Channel, Channel, Dalton. We're going to put you in the next film with Goofy. <laughs> Dalton, get the millions of dollars and deposit it in my bank account. It's okay. I got you covered, Dalton. You were never here. I thought Frankie was you. I mean, the father's still alive, though, so I wonder if he gonna cause them any problems. Who's that, Eminem? Ain't no way he just asked if they opened the door. Ain't no way this guy came in through a bar <laughs> that has a car in the freaking lobby and asked if it was open. Didn't ask what happened, what's going on. He asked, is it open today? Like, if there's nowhere else to go. That's crazy. Oh, my oh, God. Maybe got no way. Kicked out of everywhere else. <laughs> oh. What she got? Duct tape? Well, you left them the money. You're the Disney Channel champion. On the road again? You really left? <laughs> he really left? He said, I got unfinished business. They try making him kind of like Jack Reacher or the Tom Cruise movie that he jumps from town to town. Long Wanderer. Terminator. <laughs> wow, man. The lunatic fringe. McGregor. I am yep. so... Based on the picture, I am so, like... I have so many questions. Like, if I was an interviewer, I would ask Jake Gyllenhaal, what made you want to do this? Like, oh, I just wanted to have fun and get ripped and get paid for it. Like, that's kind of, like, all I feel. Like, oh, man. It was an hour 52. Like, look, I've seen worse movies, all right? It wasn't the worst movie ever. The music was really good. 
The cinematography was really good. Conor McGregor was really fun in it. Jake Gyllenhaal was freaking... Oh, know, it looked like it's signed at the end. Yeah, I'm watching it. I'm, I'm still watching the credits. Um, so it, it's not it's not a horrible movie. It's it wasn't a horrible movie. There was the, there's definitely other movies out there that are way worse. I I, I think that they did a phenomenal job with the cinematography and the fighting, and it had good humor. It had a good sense of humor. Yeah, it did. I forgot what role she plays. Oh, she's the little sister? Now, I I do see why Amazon was reluctant to release this in theaters, though. Because Jake... Oh, she look. McGregor's still alive. Conor McGregor's still alive. Look at him, look at him, butt naked. (laughs) He got the walk to you. The Vince McMahon walk. Uh, Yeah, he's a fucking Terminator. (laughs) The lunatic fringe never dies. I'm going to tell you what my problem with the movie is. They should have never called it Roadhouse. They should have used another name. You know who was going to be the original person in Roadhouse? Ronda Rousey. So Ronda Rousey had been hired to do the the bouncer role. And when she lost her match in UFC, um, when she lost in UFC, like kind of her movie career and everything else, like she just stopped everything. And then she focused on having a family after WWE and came back to WWE. So they they kind of did a, a a different take and ended up getting Jake Gyllenhaal and included Conor McGregor, obviously. I can't really be that hard because I enjoyed myself. We had really good laughs. Maybe it wasn't supposed to be as funny as it was at times, but... They shouldn't have called it Roadhouse. I've never seen the original, but I'm pretty sure that the original is better than this. The, con- the original is considered a classic. So I think by default, what's the original's rating, uh, Erica, on Rotten Tomato? Marco, you missed the first 40 minutes. How, you, how do you know if it was good or not? <laughs> no, Rotten Tomato, not IMDb. You know... <sighs> It's a it's a decent cheesy watch and the original look at that even the original one has bad ratings <laughs> show me the new one I mean I'm sure the original was corny at times it had Patrick Swayze in it he was a Hollywood hunk at that time. Sixty-three by how many critics reviewed it? Wow, one hundred and forty-two critics and has sixty-three percent, but the audience hated it. Of course, because everybody's comparing it to the original. So the problem with a movie like this is that it's always set set up for failure, because. People are going to draw comparison to the original and it's going to kind of fall into that trap, right? Yeah. But if you rate this for what it was, the story wasn't, the story wasn't half bad. The problem was the writing. The writing was my biggest issue with the entire movie was the writing. The writing was like just God awful. The story, like the bullet points of the story, it wasn't bad. You know, a guy who who was trying to take over his father's business. His father's clearly still trying to run it from the prison cell. Crooked cops, small town. Um, 
random wanderer comes into town and he's you know he's got um he's he's trying to lay low and um you know the premise of the movie wasn't wasn't bad oh well but what was really really god awful is the the dialogue was just you don't watch a movie like this for the dialogue but it was just atrocious the dialogue was that bad it hurt my ears the bad guys were saying i'm going to come after you oh you keep getting in my way oh man <laughs> uh, oh you're fighting the bouncer you know it sounded like it was supposed to be in a 90s based off the dialogue yeah 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 like i think there's better dialogue in the 90s even for the cheesy blockbuster movies from way back when. Yeah. get in the yeah, car you know the, my boss wants to speak you know, with you i have a gun yeah and then he breaks his freaking face like who the hell tells me you have a gun yeah exactly no look you ever hear this movie called no holds barred no, I've That's never seen Hogan. That. Oh, I never saw that one. No, no. It's a pretty bad movie. For real? It's on uh, Tubi. Oh, damn. No, I've never seen it. Is that the one that has uh, Zeus? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've never seen it. No. Oh, yeah. I remember that. It was all right, it, man. It was, I'll probably. It was good in his own way. That movie. What about this one? What do you guys think about this one? I mean, it was a good movie. From what I seen. Action wise, I didn't see the first half. I didn't see the first. Action wise half. was great. What? Dialogue. That's oh. a different story. Oh yeah, you're saying action wise it was great. Dialogue was the di- yeah yeah. I think it was good. Yeah, you know, I don't want to be like a harsh critic because I got the satisfaction. I, I think Jake Gyllenhaal was cool. I like the fighting in it. See, my problem with the Mortal Kombat movie that came out a couple of years ago was that not only did it have bad dialogue, but the story was garbage. That They, they did a terrible job telling the Mortal Kombat story. I feel like this one had... I- so much story and the dialogue just couldn't hold its weight. Yeah. I felt the story for the original Mortal Kombat movie was so much better than oh, yeah, the new this, one. Yeah, for sure. For sure. For sure. You know, it's it's a shame that they didn't do a better job putting together an actual script. I just think Jake Gyllenhaal is such a great actor. He just, he got underutilized, bro. Yeah. He is such a good actor. They did so little with him. Cage Fighter, Worlds Collide, John Moxley. Yeah, plays this, MMA fighter. this movie got more reviews than the first one. Yeah, it did. Well, because what on uh, Rotten Tomato you saw? Yeah, yeah, because Rotten Tomatoes wasn't around at that time, bro. They say forty-one percent to sixty-three. That's wild. I want to watch this movie, Marlo. I mean, I, I wouldn't watch it twice, but it was good for what it was. I have Ambulance, but I haven't seen it, no. I didn't watch it for personal reasons, but I do have it. I got to watch it one day. The OG Ninja Turtle boy is awesome. Look at uh, Liam Neeson. I love Liam Neeson. This boy's probably good. I don't know. I'll probably get like a 6.5 or something like that. Yeah, I was thinking a 6. I 
I ain't get to see it fully, so yeah, I'ma just give it a six. What I saying? Yeah, the cinematography was impressive. The fighting was good. The story was pretty solid. The writing was just man, god awful. That's all I gotta say. The writing brought down the movie. Yeah. Look at this man. It was the writing was so bad that it was comical at times. I found it funny at times. It looks like a guess who type. He's a private investigator. Watching the commercial for a movie called Marlo on Amazon. All right, like somebody go get some rest. All right, VJ, hope you feel better, bro. Thanks for watching the movie with oh, us. Oh, thanks. Oh, no problem. Thank you for doing this watch party. No, nah, no problem, man. Erica says feel better, VJ. Oh, thanks. He said All right, thanks. Take care, guys. Take care. All right, you too. Was the movie good, Lex? 6.5, I'll give it. It was all right. Bones is a pretty good TV show. Or movie, are you saying? I like this watch party stuff. I'm glad you enjoyed it, man. I wanted, I definitely want to do other movies, you know. I, and I would like to do this on the other channel better, too. We could watch other movies for real, like... Because if we stick to watching fighting movies, like, a lot of them are going to be cheesy, like the one we just watched. Which, there's nothing wrong yeah. with it. But there's a lot of freaking cheesy fighting movies. Ron will say, I feel like family. Family. Like, like, uh, Vin Diesel. Have you watched the underdogs? No. What just is it? Fast and Furious? Is that what you said? What, what you saying, bro? I'm talking to you, Carter. What happened? You said Fast and Furious and stop talking. Yeah, I said we like family, like Fast and the Furious. Oh, yeah. Oh, IP Man? Yeah, I, I've never seen it. I have it in 4K. My mom got me that for Christmas a couple years ago. Ricky Stanicki, that's a good one. I know which bo what movie Bones is. Los Angeles. What the hell is that, Charles? Charles, what are you doing here, bro? So you're good enough. Come on. What are you doing? <laughs> we just finished watching the movie. I'm out here. You just woke up? Uh, I got up out of bed. I wasn't sleeping. You sound a little tired. You sound real low. Yeah, I had it low so the movie wasn't annoying. Well, Erica, we have to Bad Bunny concert again? What? Who is hyped for WrestleMania? I can't wait for WrestleMania. What's wrong? I'm hungry as hell. I got some uh, chocolate covered pe uh, peanuts. Oh, I love that. What's up? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Eric is going to get me a little slice of pizza now. <laughs> She's going to get me some sour cream dip. What? Are you serious? 7-Eleven pizza? <laughs> Look at her. She's so mean, man. That's crazy. Every time. <clears throat> Try 
Shaw sold out. He said he was in a watcher, but he fell asleep. Where are you going, baby? Locked. You don't have to. It's okay. You sounded so like against him. For real? Well, we'll pick everything up now. I wanted to watch this one. What one was? You're having that tomahawk steak now? Hell yeah. Some King disease. cards and some waffles. <laughs> you tired, baby? It's okay. I'll go get it. No, no, no. I'm sorry. I thought you were on your phone playing. What are you going to eat, Carl? A little bit of chips, a little bit of now, Marco mentioned the sour cream and onion chips, and I fin I stopped immediately. Uh, what are you doing, babe? Don't worry about it. Did you close this bin so the ants don't get in it? The banana chips in there. Ah, man. Mm, nah, just one. A pretzel bun. How many breadsticks are there? Oh. Y'all on vacation? No, bro, I'm at my house. I'm just laying down chilling. Yeah, he's um, coming down to visit me uh, next month, I think. Oh, wow. Nah, Lex don't want to meet me. He's scared. Oh, they have the, we have the pineapple one. But no, nah, um, I wanted to have... What chips do we get? Oh. But I wasn't going to guess... I won't guess how cream now. I forget it. I'll just get the pizza slice and the pretzel there. What a kiwi sell up. It was pretty good. Wait, who left the party? Uh, King Carter. Tell the cats I said, what's up? They're out in the living room, man. We don't let them in the room like that. Carter left? That's crazy. And look at look at Keon. He's still in a party with MGM. He's in a party with Glizzy, which is Wesley. They sold out nasty, bro. Yeah. You're watching the Blues Brother with your dad. Nice. I've never seen that more. Adrenaline in my soul, trout a I don't know what else to say, guys. I think we did the review. I thought I had a... Uh... I thought this was a lot of fun. I want to keep doing it. I was thinking about what to do now, but I think I may just get off. Tomorrow I'm going to be playing 2K24 and I want to I want I want to do uh some WrestleMania matches on Peacock. Don't leave. What do you want me to do? Yo, Alex, I'm out. Got work at 5 a.m. Bro, you don't got you don't got no work at 5 a.m. You working three hours and you just had a tomahawk steak, bro. You a liar. Let's talk about mania or something. 
watch WrestleMania watch party. Uh, we're gonna watch uh, WrestleMania, I think seventeen, to watch the ladder match with the Hardy Boys, and then we'll watch uh, the Rock versus Stone Cold. I gotta see what other matches are at that card. I haven't watched that WrestleMania since I was a kid. You're my hero. You are my. Glad I didn't fully miss the watch party. I had to make up for selling out. Nah, you did good, Carter. I saw you left the party now, man. Thank you for uh, joining us and watching with us, man. I appreciate it. Karduki. You better uh, you better join us tomorrow, man. We need we need that Carter special tomorrow when we watch WrestleMania. Let me load into the Peacock app to see. Um, let me see WrestleMania seventeen. I feel like your uncle, Ronald. How old are you, bro? What do you mean, your uncle? What's wrong with you? Kaduki. 22? Damn, Ronald, you're young. So, yeah, I could be your uncle. Not really, but... I'm 34, bro. Oh, WrestleMania 17 is only three hours and 40 minutes. Undertaker versus Triple H. Marco, are you 25? Damn, y'all been watching me for a while then. Look at Carter. Look at Carter. Carter's in a party with Keon now. Keon left the party with with MGM. That's crazy, Cardiki. Jason's forty one. Wow. Bozo. Are you gonna watch WrestleMania seventeen tomorrow with us, Trout, or what? I'm home, yeah. Wow, bro, you always on something. Yo, is who's man, watching I, WrestleMania I've been 17 tomorrow? Been a busy man. WrestleMania I've 17 been a tomorrow. Busy man. Omar, you said you was watching. He said you was watching Roadhouse. You just made someone quit. All right, guys, I'm going to stay in here till I finish eating. What sauce did you put on it? This is new? Why? The other one is over? I don't care. Was there a lot left? How would I eat in it? What happened with the other sauce that you have, bro? Oh, oh. There was only one? Oh. I'm eating a piece of pretzel bread and a piece of pizza. No cheese on the pizza. Boring as hell, but we got butter sauce. We got Cardiki. VJ, are you going to watch WrestleMania with us tomorrow? You just bought a Red Bull? Can you fly? <laughs> you crazy. 
Damn, that's a good ass match card, VJ. That's a good WrestleMania to watch. Oh, a Red Bull hat. I'm about to choke with all this bread. I'll be right back. WWE had just pressured WCW. Homemade pizza now. We had a coupon to get breadsticks from Little Caesars. Oh, I had water here too. Can you cook or Eric is a chef? Damn, Ronald. You said I'm your favorite YouTuber and you don't even know any facts about me? I cook just about every day, bro. I didn't cook today because we were out all day. I told Eric, we should just get pizza. Yeah, I'm definitely eating some garbage food right now, but. Can't believe you threw away the butter. What was that like? Was there a lot left? The breadsticks are amazing. Grandma's Pizza, damn. Had oxtail today? Erica likes that shit. My dad loves oxtail. Um, yo, Chow, I was going to ask you, what are you watching? There's people debate on TikTok about Biden and Trump. Oh my god. Trout. What? On TikTok? Yeah. Why, oh, you hear it? Yeah, but it sounded like you were locked in, so I just want to know what the hell it was. Oh, yeah, that's what it is. They're just debating. Salad with chicken is good. I just bought orange, mandarin orange sauce today to do it with some chicken, too. Yeah, uh, I had Kraft mac and cheese with uh, hot dogs cut up in it. Man, that recipe, for whatever reason, I've seen it online. It's that's popular. So I must have had that once when I was a kid or something. I haven't had that. I haven't had it a long time till today. I just had craving it, so I had it today. Cooking stream? Yeah, you Not should on do this one. Channel. 
Not on this channel. You can do it on the other channel. Yeah, on the other channel I could do it. I cook all types of stuff. I use my oven a lot. I do a lot of chicken. I like doing a lot of vegetables. I like to have some fried catfish right now. Fried catfish. Hell yeah. What was the fish? Swordfish. Oh my god. Erica's parents had given us some swordfish. That stuff's good. Yeah, but it was swordfish steak. That shit was stiff. I didn't like the texture. Well, yeah, if you didn't have it in steak form. Regular form is better, right? Yeah, yeah, by far. The steak form is disgusting to me, bro. I've had it a couple times, I think, at Myrtle Beach somewhere, I think. Myrtle Beach, that's in the Carolinas? Yeah, South Carolina. Yep. Erica's parents, Cuba. I like going on vacation in Myrtle Beach. I haven't been there for a while, though. But Erica's American raised, though. So are her parents. Mom came when she was a little girl. If I was in your kitchen full, be gone. I wouldn't be able to cook for you. Well, maybe I would be able to cook for you, John, because I cook for me and Erica like for like a family. We eat leftovers because I cook too much. Like I'd be doing food for like at least three or four people. Maybe five. Good night, Ghostface. I'll see you tomorrow, man. You know, not to flex or anything, but I, I love to cook, man. And the cook, the food that I make, I still get impressed with how good I cook sometimes. Greenville, My South grandfather Carolina, likes to cook a lot. And he his food is the bomb. For real? Yeah, he has a smoker and all kinds of shit. Oh, smoker, man, that's priceless. Yeah, he has that and all and all kinds of shit. He likes doing a lot of things, different stuff, seasonings and all kinds of shit. Better than Gordon Ramsay? Nah, no. Nah. I'm probably like a poor man's Gordon Ramsay. Like Gordon Ramsay is top of the line. <laughs> I feel like Gordon Ramsay, he's just, um, I've seen a lot of his cooking shows and his videos. I ate at his hamburger place in Las Vegas. Yeah, yeah. He has a, he has I had a, a steak, truffle, steak truffle burger or whatever. He has a steakhouse too. Yeah, I didn't go to the steakhouse. I, I went to that hamburger one and got that truffle burger or whatever it's called. The thing about cooking, bro, you got to love it, and you got to have creativity. I like that show, yeah. Kitchen Nightmares. <laughs> yeah, that show is funny. It's awesome. That's why I got introduced. The way Nobody I see cooking. can beat John Taffer. That's all I got to say. I love John Taffer, for sure. John Taffer is awesome. Shut it down. <laughs> Is that a rat in the fryer? Shut it down. <laughs> you gotta expire this and that. The temperature. <laughs> yeah, that's what that's what I try to say. He he'd be like, 
the cold is getting out. Your AC fridge, the the fridge, the AC in the fridge is leaking. You got mold coming in the man. freezer. <laughs> Shut it down. <laughs> I love old John Taffer. Is Jake's dead? Oh. <laughs> Yeah, but Mike Tyson's clips are like five seconds at a time. That's what people don't realize. You're cooking popcorn shrimp tomorrow. So I got I got cut off on my train of thought, but the thing about cooking, man, is like a it's like a palate, right? And you got to take into consideration your taste buds, what you're looking to get out of the food, and you want to paint the canvas. In the tastiest way possible. And I tell this to Erica all the time. Anybody could cook if you're like, oh, yeah, I need the ingredients for this. I need the ingredients for that. That Yes. Anyone could cook like that. Anyone could be like, all right, I need, I need the uh, red peppers, green peppers, onions. I need... I need to have uh, paprika. I need to have um, black pepper. I need to get, you know, uh, just all garlic and aioli and, you know, like all these, you know, specific things. You could follow the guideline on Google, YouTube. It's so easy nowadays for sure. That's easy. Like the way I see it, that's like, to me, that's like, effortless because you're just following a guideline now you want to talk about being a good cook learning how to cook with what you got and that idea is kind of like i just realized as i was thinking and saying that i kind of apply that to everything in life honestly making the best out of nothing doing the best you can with what you got and making it really, really good. You could ask Erica, man. We've been together now. We're gonna, we're, we're, we're gonna, we're on our way to eight years already. No, we're on our way to nine. Together. Wow. Never mind. We're on our way. Yeah. So when i got together with her like i remember shocking Still her going strong <laughs> yeah week after week shocking her shocking her shocking her and then it kind of got like you got used to it a little bit but then every every once in a while i switch it up like to cook something out of left field and i'll buy different sauces and i'll combine different seasonings or cooking styles and still to this day, she'll be like, oh, my God, like, this is amazing. Sometimes I don't even like my own food. And she'll be like, oh, my God, this is amazing. I can't believe you did this. And I'm like, this shit sucks. Thank you, Ronald. Ronald says, is this true, Erica? I took so much. I cooked so much. My wait for Lex to send me some so food in the mail. <laughs> um, I'm still waiting on that honey bun last night. Sunday night, Tuesday, or... Uh, no, we're going to do LWF <laughs> on, on on Tuesday, not Sunday night. What did you say about your honey bun? So I'm still waiting on my honey bun from last night. Mm. But you brought me back a pizza or something. Yeah, because I had asked you what you wanted. And you said honey Yeah. Bun. <laughs> yeah, man. Um, so cooking with what you got, like, if all you have is, like, half an onion some salt, some pepper and butter and all that, like, you got to make the best of what you got. So how are you going to get the most out of that food? You got to sauce it up, sauce it up. I like cooking. I like cooking a lot of Asian-inspired meals. You like Korean food? Which one? Korean food. I like Korean. I like Thailand. I've never really had like Korean food, I don't think. I haven't really had Korean food like that. We went to a what well, hot pot, which is Korean. It's like Korean barbecue. That's probably one of the 
one of the few experiences that I could tell you that I've tried. I've tried food from like Thailand inspired food. And I'll tell you what I like about Thai, Thai food. They have a lot of peanut butter recipes and I actually copied one and it was amazing. It was like soy sauce with like peanut butter. It's just crazy. Like you, peanut butter chicken stuff? Yes. And yeah. um, there's this Chinese food by Erica's parents' house that Chinese place that they do a uh, cashew chicken. Yeah, I heard of it. Yeah. The thing about the Thai uh, Thai Thai food, um, yeah, I know. I was just because he wrote it and it made me emphasize on the H. Uh, the Thai food, a lot of it. Uh, there's a lot of spicy stuff. Yeah. I think Korean's a little spicy too. I think Korean food. Korean, some stuff. Yeah. So I like cooking with like green onions, which you know. They use that a lot over there. So I when I when my I get favorite a, seasoning on stuff is like Cajun seasoning. That's my favorite. Oh, Cajun seasoning is off the chain, but you gotta be careful because it could be a little too spicy. I've gotten yeah, more into be, Middle yeah. Eastern recently. Yeah, I got it more into Middle Eastern recently, but and no, not just hummus, but definitely a lot of hummus, but um we I did the other day, which I thought it could have came out a little better, man. Uh, what is the sauce called? Tiki masala. Tikka masala. I bought this sauce, uh, this jar, um, and I made tikka masala chicken. It was really good, but I had I had um I had burnt the edges of the chicken a little too much. But yeah, man, it's just try. How do you extract the most flavor with with the things you have, and like, and also like, everyone has different taste buds, you know. So, I could yeah. find something that's great, and you'll be like, "Oh, this is all right." Indian, Indian, yes, Indian. My fault. Yeah, Indian. I was just thinking about the, like when I think about middle, uh, like the Middle Eastern food, I can't help but think of the movie You Don't Mess With the Zohan. <laughs> that has got to be the most ignorant movie on planet Earth, but I it's think funny that, as uh, shit though. it's funny as shit. Yeah. I love how Adam Sandler's dad in the movie, he's eating everything with the hummus. He even dips his glasses in it. I like doing um, outside of the Asian stuff. I like doing um, Mexican. Yeah, like we do wraps and burritos and tacos and and like we once did a. I remember we did a crunch wrap once. We haven't done it again because the crunch wrap one. I feel like it's kind of a waste because you got to buy the big flowery one. And that's not really Mexican. That's Tex-Mex, and it's Taco Bell, and it's trash. But I definitely made it better than them. I remember when we first did it, that shit was crazy. I loaded that up way too much. How would you rate Cuban food? Well, bro, you know, my parents being Cuban and me learning to cook off of my mom's, you know, things, like her recipe and style, um, that was probably, like, to me, Cuban food is really hard to rate because my mom's cooking is, like, better than every restaurant I've ever eaten for, like, Cuban food. And it wasn't until recently that Erica uh, discovered with her, like, cousin and uncle and all this that they went to, a they went to like, a Cuban infusion restaurant, which is, like, infused with, like, Italian and things like that. And um, I was able to try, like, some food from there. And we went with Erica's parents back there again, and I was blown away. And it wasn't just regular Cuban food. It was just, you know, it was a different take on Cuban food. And I was like, wow, like, I don't really get impressed with Cuban food anymore when I eat it out, ever, really. 
because I've been eating my mom's cooking since I was born and like her her ingredients and taste palette is kind of like imprinted in me so when I taste like black beans from somewhere else I'll be like uh this is you know well I will say Erica's mom does uh, good beans really good beans that I actually like so I would say that Erica's mom but they're they're still different though you know they're better than restaurant but they're different but I'm definitely more of a homemade homemade cook type of thing like that's my that's my whole I'd rather eat like my mom's food my food Erica's mom's food I'd rather eat those meals better than going to a restaurant I you know I like the sitting down and being served a little bit but not really man I like doing the stuff myself your dad has Mexican food in the restaurant. Mexican food is awesome to me. I love Mexican food. I would say that Asian. I, I got to say Asian food because it's not just Chinese. Like, I've grown to love, like, different things um, within that scale, I guess, of, like, not just the special fried rice, which is just fed to us here in America for the most part. Yeah, Erica got me into sushi. I'm kind of picky with it still, but I've gotten, I've explored a little more. I've noticed what I like and don't like. Guatemalan food is good. Um, yeah, Erica likes Nika food. Um, I've gone to a couple restaurants. Um, I've never had Guatemalan, I think. I don't think, at least, I don't think so. Um, yeah, I just, I you know, I, I kind of don't really value Hispanic food like that. Because I just feel like, again, my mom's cooking, my grandma, my grandma, you know, my grandma's cooking was off the chain, man. It's it's just really like I don't get impressed. I go to restaurants like for Spanish food. I'm you know we've gone to some high quality ones, and you know I've gotten impressed with like dumbest shit like with croquetas, which is basically a fried ham, like a uh, minced ham, and they bread it. And instead of think of like a mozzarella stick, but of ham, it's like battered ham basically. And it's like the best thing ever when they give it to you, like some special guava sauce or some crazy shit like that. So like when I've gone to restaurants and I've tried that, I'll be like, oh my God. But I remember, I still remember till this day, man, my grandma would hand bread that shit. And my mom learned how to do it too. And I, I just liked theirs better because it felt, it felt authentic and, 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 and the taste was fresh. A lot of these places, you got a lot of prepackaged garbage, bro. And croquetas from Spain, yeah, you know, it's just, what? It's just, um, it's just something about the, like having that, that taste, like already, like embedded in my in my in my system i just don't get impressed so like it's just hard for me to like i've got like we've gone to hispanic restaurants out here there's plenty of them there, there's one like in every corner but like that's why like when uh my boy stunner came he's like oh what's a hispanic place i could go to i took him to kind of like it's kind of it's not really a chain it's a south florida one but I took him to the one that we took him to because they're pretty solid. They have good variety. But I'd rather eat something else. I would like tortillas from Spain. You know, I've had that from, from uh, restaurants as well. My mom made them. You know, with with uh similar inspired uh we actually had that today for breakfast i told Derek, i was like oh i'm gonna make it how my mom 
would make it. And um, it's just really, it's it's really hard to put into words. I don't really, I don't really mess with Hispanic food like that. Like when we go out, that's the last thing I want to eat in my mind. Because I'll just cook it at my house myself better. With the potatoes, onion, or, yep. My mom would do it just like that, bro. With the potatoes, with the onions, with the... She'll even put some uh, red pepper sometimes. Depends how, what, you know, the toppings and shit. But yeah, um, she'll make it and she'll make it look like a freaking pizza. That shit was crazy. It was like a pie. Some intense shit. Miss your vlogs with Erica. Yeah, you know, I really enjoy doing that. But those videos take a long time to edit. And, you know, I, I have some stuff recorded. Um, but we just record for ourselves, basically. Yeah, thick pie. I'm telling you, bro. And it's not a knock. It's not a knock. But I've had it at places and I'm like, this ain't my mom's. It's just, you know, I'm wired already with that. And I was so used to it because my grandma would make it. You know, because I forgot who down the line from our family. I remember my mom saying, like, we had family from Spain. Like, one of our ancestors. I don't know who exactly did it or how it came about. I can't tell you that story right now. But, you know, she she definitely would do do that. And it came from that. Sausage and beans are awesome. Depends. Depends uh, what sausage we're talking about. But I like beans. I make a lot of beans. And it's funny because to me, beans was just like, it was so normal. And, um... I remember going to restaurants like and, and ordering beans and it, they definitely make it a little drier than the Hispanic beans that look more like a soup. Like the Hispanic beans are more soupy and have a bunch of shit. When I want good Hispanic food, I go to Taco Bell. <laughs> I know you're a troll. Hey, no knock on Taco Bell, man. Taco Bell help, holds it down. In terms of uh, satisfying cravings and eating the shit they be doing, but I don't really, oddly enough, I don't really consider Taco Bell Hispanic food, even though it's supposed to be Mexican, but I don't really, I don't know, Taco Bell to me is just Taco Bell, it, it's, it's, it's Mexican inspired for sure, but that shit ain't no Hispanic shit. I remember I was watching this documentary about food. It was like a like a clip of sorts. And I forgot where I saw it. It was like a food review video or something. And the person went the person went with uh as like for the documentary went with someone that had never eaten Taco Bell ever. A true authentic Mexican. And it was like reversing the roles, right? So the, the the person from Mexico that had never eaten at Taco Bell went to Taco Bell. And the person from the United States that had never gone to a, an authentic Mexican restaurant went to an authentic Mexican restaurant. And when they brought up like the different things and like the menu... Oh my God, I was dying because uh, I remember like seeing the lady ordered like a, I, I know she ordered like, I think it was like a burrito or crunch wrap or some shit like that. And the person from Mexico is like, what is this? Like, I've never seen, heard of anything near this. Like, and then they would cut it in half to see what was inside. And they'd be like, they don't use this garbage ass cheese, yellow cheese over there. They they don't use that cheddar cheese over there. Like, what up, Goonie? They're like, I've never seen a, a taco like this. Like, this is a, a travesty. 
Put it this way, they didn't even eat it. And then when they went to the one in, in, in Mexico, over here in the U.S., a lot of people know them as like street tacos. Baia's good. Impossible to find in America. Oh, man. You're just, na my mom would do all that shit, bro. And, um, we, uh, I remember, like, my dad would order from time to time from some restaurants. But, yeah, it's definitely harder to find because it has to get cooked. Um, well, for the most part, if the restaurant is good, they're going to cook it fresh. And it needs to be cooked in bulk. Like, it's 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 a big dish. So you can't really control the, the portions of that, like, for one person. You know what I'm saying? So they cook it in bunches. So what was I saying? Oh, so they went to the Mexican restaurant and their authentic tacos are more like what we know as street ta tacos, which they put the, uh, you know, like a shredded meat. It's not, it's not grinded meat. It's shredded meat for the most part. And like with cilantro and they, they'll put it with onions and like lime. And, and that's what they would do on a, on a small corn uh, on a small corn wrap, but the, it, not even a wrap, like that it wraps the whole taco. It was literally like, a like a tortilla, like about this big of corn. And it's just, it's very small and yeah, it almost looks like a little appetizer, but over here in the U S you got the big fat burritos and the, like, like they make them shits look like hamburgers. But those wraps, man, the wraps here. So when I say that I'm a fan of Mexican food, I'm a fan of the authentic Mexican food. And I'm also a fan of Tex-Mex, which Tex-Mex is more like what you see in Chipotle. Exactly, Ronald. Tex-Mex is more of like what Taco Bell is inspired from, which is the big wrap burritos loaded and stuffed. Arepas, yeah, you know, they sell those pre-packaged from Goya. Um, but yeah, that's good shit. I forgot why we started talking about, oh, we started talking about all this food because Ronald was asking me if I cooked. And that's like asking me if I like watching movies and shit. Like, I could ramble on and on and on and on. You've had Goya Arepas? Yeah, that... Believe it or not, a lot of places, that's what they sell you. The prepackaged shit. That's what I'm telling you, like... I just... Bro, I'd rather make my own. And then on top of that, a lot of the good food, like the tasty, like nasty food, and I say nasty because it's like deep fried stuff. I don't eat fried stuff anymore, man. Like, every once in a while, I'll get a taste and try, but I stay away from all that, man. I can't. My stomach is too sensitive. You know, I, you saw me eat pizza now, but I didn't show it on camera like that. But the pizza that I ate, that shit didn't have no cheese. It didn't have any meat. It was basically just bread and sauce, and I was dipping it in the butter. You guys, food poisoning from from street tacos, you got to see where you were eating it from, man. Maybe they left out the meat too long. I don't know. Maybe it's the spicy sauce. One of these has the best spicy chicken sandwiches. Man, I don't mess with none of that. As much as I love the spicy stuff, like I do mess with spicy stuff, some stuff. But I'm talking about the fried chicken sandwiches. Might as well have a breadstick with marinara. I did. I did. I ended up having a pretzel bread now, a piece of pretzel bread and a slice of pizza. But yeah, that's pretty much what uh what I usually have too. Just like if I want the pizza craving, that's what I go for. 
They found a, a finger on Wendy's drive through No way. I can't do spicy, even though our culture cuisine are centered around spices. I like Popeye spicy chicken sandwich. Uh, man, I've I've never eat I never got to eat that, but I'm sure it's really good because I've tried Popeye's uh chicken stuff. But that's all good shit, man. Like it's bad, but it's good. You know what I mean? Like I like all that stuff, man. I just I can't have it. I can't. I tried being slick a couple months ago and having some chicken wings, like fried. I usually get my chicken wings baked, or I do my own chicken wings baked, or in the air fryer. But I got some fried chicken wings breaded. What a mistake. And the time before that, which was even even longer than that, was I had a fried chicken breast. Baked wings are really good. That's the thing that I, I don't, I don't miss out on the fried chicken because the bake, the 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 baked wings, man. If you add cornstarch, you got the extra crisp. Yeah, baked wings are good, bro. I'm good with the, I'm good with the air fryer. I'm good with the oven stuff. I love pulled pulled pork. I love pulled chicken. Lemon pepper wings. Who doesn't? Come on now. I even like wings with the hot sauce, but the hot sauce be getting my lips all freaking messed up. So I don't eat too much of that, but. You know, I can't really, it's really hard to like try to talk about like food, like in a healthy manner when I just, again, had a bread with sauce and freaking uh, butter, butter dip. Motor City Machine Guns is done with TNA. I saw that their contract was expiring at the end of the month. You know what I have a soft spot for, bro? Cookies. This dude said, Lex, I can give you a diet plan for free. I give it to my clients, my Latino brothers. Get out of here, bro. I'll give you one month free. I don't need no diet plan. Dude, I'm skinny enough. I don't need to lose weight. I don't need to. I, I, com, comparing myself to the average, trust me, I eat, I eat very healthy. I, I I mess up and I have my cheat days here and there, but I already said it, bro. I cook my own food, fool. No, man, I ain't going to work out. I work out when you see me streaming those long hours. I don't need no workout plan. I don't believe in doing little diets. It's a it's a lifestyle. It's a way of living. I don't just go on a diet for a goal or to lose weight. Or I cook a certain way. I live a certain way. I am a certain way, and I try to protect myself um, as best as I can, as often as I can. I have my weaknesses today. I feel like having a slice of pizza. I had a slice of pizza, but you won't see me eating pizza every day or every week. The worst shit that I probably eat that I shouldn't eat as often as I do is probably um, I'm a sucker for those. um, So there's these low main noodles that you do in the microwave. You cook it for five minutes and um, comes with a little pouch and sauce. I'm not talking about the ramen soup packets or whatever. I'm talking about it's a it's supposed to be rest. I put these uh, quote unquote because it's not really restaurant style, but. It's restaurant style lo mein noodles that you do in the microwave. Shouldn't be eating that as often as I do, and I do. And I shouldn't be eating pot pies as often as I do, and I do. Lex, I'll probably send money for iron next week, bro. I'm not putting the pressure on you. If you send it next week, we'll do the watch party next Saturday. You just got to give me time 
so I could go find it in a local store because Best Buy don't sell movies anymore, so I got to go look for it. You know, a lot of a lot of people don't realize that. They're like, oh, I need to go on a diet. I need to do a diet. They try to, like, psychologically force themselves to go on a certain, like, oh, I need to do this, that, or the other. So then, then you go eat a hamburger. Then you go eat some chicken tenders. And you go eat all this, and, and, and you start to feel bad, and you, you know, you, you start to feel self-conscious, you start to feel like a piece of shit. Would you get the digital? Well, I'm talking about I'll have the physical, and I'll give you the digital. If you want me to keep the digital as well, I will. I want you to keep the digital and give it to me. <laughs> Flex, you did lose weight. Yeah, man. So I lost weight. I used to weigh so much. And um, I completely changed uh, my way of living to protect myself. I still mess up. I still have those moments where my stomach blows up. Boom. And it feels like it's exploding and it's crazy and it's annoying. It's horrible. It's uncomfortable. But... Like I said, I ain't perfect, man. I eat very, very good as often as I can. Even if I go to a restaurant, I still don't even cheat. I get like a grilled salmon. I get like a grilled grilled something. I don't. Worst thing I'll have from that is probably like some freaking rice or and, and some veggies, some sauteed veggies and shit. Like. I'm not like, oh, I'm at a restaurant, so I'm going to do a little cheat meal. That's amazing, Lex. Congrats. Weight is not good for the joints. It's not. Congrats on nothing. I'm 6'5". I still weigh like 230. My freaking knees hurt like crazy. I have a bad right knee. That shit hurts all the time. And uh, I feel it. Because I'm... There's no congratulating me on that. But I guess you could congratulate me on that. Uh gaining more than three hundred pounds. Like I didn't I haven't gone over three hundred pounds. I wasn't trying to call you fat, bro. I never said you were. I'm just saying that like that whole oh I need to go on a diet, I need a I need a food plan. That that um that that doesn't work for me, bro. Like, I'm not going to be a prisoner of my own mind. Did I hurt my knee? Yeah, playing basketball. Playing basketball, I freaking popped my knee. Man, I'm not uh, going back to the old videos. Proud of you. Thanks, Ronald. You know, it wasn't by choice. It was by force. I'm fine being a little thick in some places. I'm fine being where I'm at, bro. I don't need a. I don't need a gain. I don't need to lose. I'm. I'm straight. If I gain a little bit, I'm all right. I don't. I don't care about that shit. I, I I care more about trying to be healthy um, and knowing what I put in my body. It's not about whether I like working out or not. I just wouldn't get a personal trainer. How the hell did we go from like food and being hungry and talking about different different kinds of food to all of a sudden uh dieting and wanting to diet and uh being personal trainer and clients and all this get out of here <laughs> oh shit. Oh man, thanks, Trump. 
is do super saint. Thank you, Ronald. My bad, guys. I didn't mean to sneeze in your ear. Bro, sneeze on his chest? No, nah, nothing came out of my nose. I just didn't want to... I didn't. I wanted to make sure I didn't blow it onto the computer screen. Like, I didn't... I didn't get wet or anything. I just blew it out. Lex, I'm a personal trainer. You know what I do? <laughs> All right. What do you want me to tell you? Give you a cookie? Who cares? Wake up, fool. Nothing. Oh, shit. Guys, this was a fun stream. Did not expect to talk about food for the last 30 minutes or so. I don't want you to know. Wait. Well, no, I'm saying I don't want you to know my job. The simplicity's really trying to get on that super sane diet. Getting hungry since you guys talking about food. Exactly. I ate a little ass slice, man. I'm still hungry, but I don't want to eat right now. Have you ever ate chicken fried rice? All the time. Chicken fried rice is great. Just like the Taco Bell, uh, the Taco Bell conversation that we just had, when I found out that chicken fried rice is not even really a, like a big thing in China, and that's mostly what they they do for us over here, I was shocked. Panda Express is definitely uh, more Americanized stuff. It's good shit. But that's what it is. Y'all made my day facts. Y'all made my day. Roadhouse was good, man. 6.5 out of 10. Enjoyed it for what it is. Could have been better. I feel bad for Jake Gyllenhaal. I feel like his talent was kind of wasted. Panda's Taco Bell? Exactly. Uh, Jake Gyllenhaal's talents were kind of wasted. Korean barbecue is amazing. I like it. I, w uh, I have mentioned it earlier. I don't know if you had heard but i have mentioned about this place that we went to uh, that does a hot pot you basically like cook your own food you could do the korean barbecue you could do the soups you could do the sorts all sorts of different things there and i did it and it was it was freaking awesome i loved it they gave you like these thin cuts of meat so i had like chicken and i tried a little bit of the pork and it's like a it's like a paper thin piece of meat and you put it in like a broth and you put whatever veggies you want in it and you get some other cuts of meat to do like the barbecue you put whatever sauce it was crazy so I'm looking at it now on Peacock Wrestlemania 17 is 3 hours and 40 minutes I'm pretty sure I'm going to watch the whole thing tomorrow you ever go to New York? yeah we went in 2015 If you ever go to New York, there's a place called Hometown. Never, never heard of that though. Trying to sign up to Super Saints and be your new trainer. Hey, look at Super Saint getting some some clients. 
So tomorrow, WrestleMania 17, WWE 2K24. I hope to see you all there. I know I started the stream tonight like at 11. I won't start it tomorrow at 11. Um... <laughs> yeah, well, I was hoping that you were going to get on because you said that you were going to come back and then you didn't get on. And then I was hoping these other fools were going to get on, but they never joined. Keon sold out. I'm going to be here soon. Keon sold out. Omar sold out. But it's all gravy. Oh, shit. We had a lot of people in here. Royal Rumble tomorrow? No, no, no. I'm not going to do the Royal Rumble tomorrow. Try to sell out? Yeah, he sold. I'm going to do the Royal Rumble. Um, I'm going to do the Royal Rumble next week so I could build it up. Because doing it tomorrow would be a would be a problem considering no one was in there. I was here while watching it. Oh, you were? Wait, did you watch it, Omar? Oh, shit, I didn't know you watched it. What did you think of the movie? And, um, Goonie, since I did the Friday house show at night, I don't think it's... It's not wise for me to do the Royal Rumble tomorrow when there's no build-up for it. We gotta do the build-up all week long, make sure everybody knows. And supposedly... Supposedly, Super Saint said he's going to get us Iron Claw so we could do a watch party next Saturday. Supposedly, you never know what this dude. Supposedly. And he wants to buy he wants to buy me the Papa Tui uh Dwayne the Rock Johnson body lotion so I could review it. I already have the the body wash. I don't have the body lotion, unfortunately. But I have the body wash. Papa Tui is The Rock's new line at Target. Target exclusive. What up, Kev? My ass about to go to bed, fool. All right, Foo, you going to be on tomorrow? Yeah, I should be on tomorrow, Foo. No problem, Goonie. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Yeah, Connor was awesome in the movie. Made some damn strawberries, and then my ass is out. All right, guys. See y'all tomorrow. WrestleMania 17, WWE 2K24. Peace out, Charter Rooney. Good night, y'all.